LM. On this channel, so far, we have looked at pin configuration converters like that, where they change from one pin over to the other. Okay, but as look with a lot of pin configuration converters, the voltage stays the same, and uh, so does a lot of other things. Okay, all we're doing is changing the pin configuration on on the particular lead. Now, just supposing. I had a pin configuration converter which not only did it change the pin configuration but it also changed from three phase over to single phase and changed the voltage as well all without using a transformer yes you know you need to see that one let me go and get it and we'll get straight into that this is Wayne's Electrical cue the intro Rightio then, so we're into it. You know you need to see this one. Straight up in front of the camera then. That is a red three-phase neutral and earth plug. Oh yes it is. And uh, yes, there it is. 16 amps that is. Uh, 415 volts, it's all there. Uh, yes, it's a five-pin jobby that one. Yeah, this pin configuration converter that I've got then. Uh, it... It, uh, shall we say, it plays on this thing that we've got in the UK where basically on a free phase supply you can get two different voltages. Okay, that is how this one does that without uh, using a transformer. Now, before we go into any further into this, I do need to point out that this is the second reshoot of this. Okay, the first one I was not happy with it, it got a bit too waffly. And while I was trying to explain what I was trying to explain, all you was doing is looking at that. And, uh, yeah, it got a bit waffly, and I took the memory card out of the camera, and I deleted the file. Okay, so I'm going at it again, but this time around it's going to be a bit different, because I'm going to put some screens up on on your screen there. Okay, and we'll flick through them, because it's easier for me to do, explain it in a diagrammatic form, than what it is for me just to talk all over the camera while you're looking at that. Okay. Now that, it is, as I've already said, it's a three phase plug, 415 volts, uh, it's five pins on that, three phase neutral on earth, and there we go, and it, uh, it plays on that thing where basically you can get two different voltages off of a three phase supply, and that's what this one does. As you can see there's a cable coming out of that, the blue cable, and on the other end of it, yes, there it is, okay. Right there, 15 amp, British Standard 546 on there. Okay, I could have put anything else on there. I could have put another, uh, it'll be basically the single phase coupler of that. I could have put one of those on there. I could have put a 13 amp one on there to British Standard 1363, but I chose that. Okay, if I spin the whole thing around like that, you can see there's five pins in there. Okay, that's one down the bottom. Okay. Uh, now let me get this right. And I've got to get this technically correct because if I don't, I'm just going to get absolutely roasted in the comments box. Uh, now the way I normally work this out is actually put the earth pin at the top like that. Normally speaking, you never put it at the top. So that one would be the neutral. Okay. Because on, or any plug really, if you look at the the pin arrangement it could be like a 13 amp plug like this this is the theory that i use okay as your earth as your neutral and as your life okay so you look at the earth one which is up the top the neutral is always over to the right like that okay and then your life's over to over to the left when you look at the pins and of course if you get one of these plugs put the earth at the top then the neutral is always over to the right and you've got phase one two and three Okay, now to explain how this actually gets a 415 volt supply and makes it into a 240 volt single phase one, I am going to be throwing some screens up on your screen now, whether it be a computer, laptop, flipping widescreen telly or whatever, and we should go through that. 
Okay, so just let me get the screen set up and into it we go. Hopefully I should get be able to get this one done in less than 15 minutes that the waffly one was. Here comes the screens and the scientific bit. Concentrate. Righty-o then, so we're into the screens. And what we can see there on on your screen then, full size, full HD size. Uh, as it says up the top, it says phasing arrangement, residential substations, and we're looking at the output side of that, three phase, four wire in the star arrangements, which will give 415 slash 240 volts. Now, just to explain what's going on there, slap bang in the middle, we've got the big circle with the N in the middle of it, which uh, symbolises neutral, normally referred to as the star points, of course, in the substation. Uh, the red, yellow and the blue, that's your three phases, okay, and then that one right down the bottom there, which is green with the E in it, that's your earth connection, and that would normally be in the form of, like, a big earth electrode stuck in the ground, okay, or it could be, like, a big copper mesh put in the ground underneath the substation or something like that, something to give earthing down into the ground, and that is what that is, okay, now... This is how that pin configuration converter gets the uh, the 240 volts or the 415. Okay, I'm going to load the next screen up now, and what we should be doing is looking at the voltage between phase red and phase yellow. It looks like this. There we go then. So, as we can see then, measuring between phase red and phase yellow, we've got 415 volts. Okay. So, that's between phases then. What would the voltage be if we measure between phase yellow and phase blue? Well, I'm going to have to move that earth connection out of the way first. Okay, I'll just put it around the side and back into the neutral. It doesn't really matter where it goes, just as long as it makes it into that neutral star point. Okay, so we're now going to be measuring the voltage between phase yellow and phase blue. There it is, okay, 415 volts once again. And you can see I've just moved that earth connection around the side there. But, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter. And there it is, okay, it's just a diagram, but, you know, it gives you the idea of what I'm talking about. Now, suppose that we measure the voltage between phase blue and phase red. You know where this is going. It looks a bit like this. I'm going to put that earth connection back as it was as well. There it is then. 415 volts once again okay now so far we've gone right the way round that and whatever phases we measure between it could be any two of the phases we get 415 volts now in the next diagram what I'm going to do is and this is just for diagr diagrammatic reasons only you don't normally get two neutral connections off it the electric support board supplies only one okay which is what's called a three, fi uh, three phase four wire system Okay, so I'm going to put up another one now and just have, like, going horizontally across it, we're going to have the two neutral connections. It's purely for diagrammatical reasons only. Okay, so let me bring that up then. There it is. Okay, so you can see the two black circles. They represent neutral. Okay, and what we're now going to do is measure between any phase and those black blobs. Okay, all the neutral terminals and let's see what happens now there we go between phase red and neutral then we've got 240 volts okay now if you live in the uk that's basically how your house is connected it will be connected on either phase red phase yellow or phase blue and then to neutral and that's how you get 240 volts in your house i bet you didn't know that but you do now but supposing your house is connected on phase yellow and neutral. Well, it looks a bit like this then. Yeah, that's right. 240 volts once again. Okay. And do you know where this is going? If your house is connected on phase blue to neutral, and then it looks a bit like this. There we are. 240 volts once again. Okay. And that's what's called a three phase four wire system. Okay, that's how we do it in the UK, and there's probably a few other countries that do it like that as well, including Australia, New Zealand, India, and parts of Africa, okay, and probably other countries around the world too. But in the UK, that's how, you know, the residential substations are connected up. You get uh, the three phases and a neutral, and if your 
you know, you've got a factory, you'll get all three phases and the neutral. But if you look at uh, just a household, a small household, you'll have one of the phases and connected to the neutral to get the 240 volts. Okay, so just to recap then, between any two phases, you get 415 volts. And then, uh, you know, between any phase and neutral, you get your 240 volts. Of course, that will vary. Okay, you do hear some people saying uh, 400 volts and 230 volts. But, uh, you know, as, as long as it's within the tolerances, it's roughly around about there. Okay, so there it is then. I say we go back to that pin configuration converter now and uh, just wrap this one up. I shall see you back there in a minute. There we are then, so as we saw in those diagram screens, uh, that is basically how this thing plays on that three phase and neutral system, where you can connect into three phase and neutral, pick the earth, the neutral and one of the phases in there, and then bring it out here, and put a single phase socket on there. Okay, now because this is obviously three phase on here, you could make up two others of these. And this one you can connect it into phase red, the other one connect it into phase blue, and connect the other one into phase yellow. And there we go. Okay, so there we are. I don't know what one this is connected into, I can't really remember now, but it's it's in obviously into one of them. I've obviously picked the the earth pin, the neutral pin, and then one of those three to you know to get the uh the two hundred and forty volt output out of there. Now, for the more established subscriber on my channel, you know what I use this for. Okay, that's, uh, funnily enough, comes off the output of my Variac, my little 10 amp one. It doesn't output free phase, it never did and never will. But uh, at the time, that's this is the only connector I had and the related coupler, of course. So I'll put that on my Variac and then just put this on, on the output and there we go. It does look a bit funny on a large, you know, this large plug on a little 10 amp Variac. But, you know, this is why it's electrical. Now, if you enjoyed this one, big old thumbs up. Okay, there could be more plugs later on, so don't forget, whack the subscribe button. And if you need more plugs, including pin configurations converters, of course, dive into the plugs playlist. You've been watching another Wayne's Electrical Production then? Full HD, 1920 by 1080p, and I am off. There could be more plugs later, electricity meters, rate changes, time switches, Toby Feline, of course. What's inside, test time, and all that lovely, tasty goodness. Okay, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in for watching this one then. More later.